Hello, you're watching Suburb News and a very happy Valentine's Day to all our viewers. Stay tuned to see if your Valentine has a special message for you at the end of this episode. In our news today, at least 20 animals have been adopted from the now spread SPCA in 2018, yet there are still many in desperate need of forever homes. 416 animals were surrendered by their owners in December and 312 in January. Suburb News spoke to Marcel Hoffman about the problems they are faced with. We have 44 hunde hokke, wat ons net een tief of een reen ons mag hulle nie meng as hulle nie gesteriliseer is nie kan sit en dan um, het ons 7 categories en ons weier geen dier nie. Daar syk dis onder die honde wat baie vinnig verspry. Jy het parvavirus, jy het de stemper en um, met die katte kan dit snuffels wees en panlekemia en ongelukkig as dier by ons parve kry, ons het nie die finansies om hulle allemaal te behandel nie. Weet dit moet op drips kom, dit gaan ons duisende kost. Daar moet ons die dier ongelukkig aan die slaap maak. So die dieren wat inkom weet nie daar uh, vaksinasies wat op datum is nie en al die sneeuwbal later en veroorzaak probleme. Trittel dier eienaars of potentiële eienaars moet in gedachte hou dat hier een levenslange verantwoordelijkheid is. Dieren moet gesteriliseer word want die unwanted litters maak dat ons nie huise kry vir al die dieren nie. Die, die publiek kan vir eesens die DBV ondersteun. Adopt die dier by ons sluit die adoption prijs, sterilisatie, ontwerming, vaksinatie in. Um, financiële bijdrage is altijd baie welkom. Ons het groot onkostes met skoonmaakmiddels. Koos is altijd baie welkom. Ons het baie meer as net die dieren ons zorg voor na ons moet kyk. As inspecteer moet ek uitgaan en ek moet gaan hoenerplaas besoek, kadoplaas, varkplaas en um, daar is net sikker belangrike werk. Five suspects were recently arrested for dealing in Dhaka. Davis Temba, 36, was found in possession of Dhaka worth 110,000 rand at his home in Mariti near Hazy View. He was released on 10,000 rand bail after appearing at the Mkutlu Magistrates Court and investigations continue. Police at Bertha's port, port of Entry near Petrotif arrested four suspects aged between 24 and 43 during patrol duties. On Sunday evening at half past eight, the suspects were found in the possession of Dhaka estimated to be worth 120,000 rand. First she conquered Mbombela and now she's taking on the province. Trudy Grove Morgan has been a DA activist since 2009 and is now running as the deputy leader of Mpumalanga for the very first time. Trudy says although she has made significant changes in Lowfell towns, there is still much more to be done. Uh, you know, I've grown Bombella from 12,000 votes to 22,000 votes when I became a constituency chairperson. Uh, this is my second term as a constituency chairperson and I felt that now it's time to grow the province. If I could do it in Bombella, I can do it in the province. So my dream is to go out there to educate people more what it means to vote and what it means to stand. You know, normally uh, people are too attached to a certain group and then they forget what they really need in their lives. We have started already to uh, e educate the people. I have public meetings there where I talk to people. I tell them what the country looks like 24 years later. Are they happy with the situation they are in? No water, no sanitation, their roads are a mess and people are starting to open up their eyes. They can see the difference. Give us 10 years of your vote. Five years we'll be trying to fix the mess that's there. And the five years after that, we'll be starting to deliver. You have to first fix because this country is a mess. Especially our province because it's very rural, rural, it's a total mess. If we sit back and just watch uh, White River getting dirty and filthy and complaining, nothing's gonna help. So I've decided I'm going on a campaign now. Each area that I come across that is that needs my attention, I'm going to do a clean up. The section that I cleaned, I was cleaning it uh, yesterday, it's a section to the taxi rank, which is a total mess. They'll clean the rest of the town, but that area gets left out. Volunteers came in and they started helping us to clean up. Even businesses assisted us, they had donated for us cold drink and food for the guys, so it was worthwhile. Taking a look at school news, 
Various schools participated at the annual Groot Faith Tennis Tournament over the weekend, which was held at Poor School Nelspreet. Overall, the hosting school girl team finished in third place and won their matches against Hoerskool Volgerevier and Ermelo High with a score of 22-2 at each match. Congratulations to these deserving participants. Earlier today, we asked viewers to send us their messages for that special person. Have a look. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. What a lovely Valentine's surprise today when Kashuga Aviation was visited by the love bug himself, the city bug bug and he dished out some delicious chocolates for everyone and we absolutely loved it. We gaan nou vir massages vir Valentine's Dag en dan gaan ons bykie later vanavond gaan ons bykie uit eet en ek wil maar net sê ek is baie lief vir hom en die rest van die mens moet hulle Valentine's Dag geniet. En I love words, I love you. Your weather for Thursday, Nelspreet will be sunny with a maximum of 35 degrees, Komati Poort 39, Sabi 31 and thunderstorms can be expected in Secunda with temperatures of up to 25. Thank you for watching Suburb News. If you are dining tonight, may you have a wonderful time and if it's accompanied by a bottle of bubbly, be sure to give your keys to a responsible driver. For me, I'm Adila. Goodbye.